Moving on, um, my favorite Air Force squadron. <laughs> um, this is a T-33A trainer from the um, 318th Fighter Interceptor Squadron based at McCord Air Force Base. And um, I have a desire to do a collection of as many 318th aircraft as I can. I've got an F-15 already built, uh, which I've had here. Um, I've got this T-33. Uh, I need to do uh, 106. 106 over 106. 106. 106. Yeah. And uh, a couple other aircraft, um, including, if I recall correctly, they did P-61s for a time, and they also did um, P-40s in uh, World War II. But, uh, and I'll have to check my research on that to make sure that I spouted off the correct information. Yeah, F-82s also. They did do F-82s also. Yeah, the latest boxing, I think the Ravel boxing, the 172 F-82 had. Oh, did it? Had McCord. Yeah. 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 Since my F-15 wound up being 48 scale, I'm going to try and keep them all in 48 scale. Mm -hmm. My 106 kit is a 48 scale monogram kit, so yeah. I'll just keep going along that line. Were you talking about the tail markings on this? Yeah. Okay. This is, a 48 this is the squadron emblem of that of that unit. Yep. Yes. Yep. That's where Les yep. got the yep. idea from. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay, lift your collar. <laughs> all right, so everybody can see. We'll go like here. <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool. Okay. Yep. The, yeah. three, the 318. Boy Scout troop on the Corps back in the 70s had squadron patch on the little bandana war because one of the <clears throat> fathers at the time, I got his in the fourth grade, so 1974, uh, was one of the maintenance guys at the squadron. And so anytime a new kid came into the troop, dad had his wife sew a patch on the Handkerchief. Oh, how cool. Yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, three, 318 Fighter Interceptor Squadron or Fighter something Squadron. Fighter Interceptor Squadron. Yeah. Fighter. Yeah. 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 Um, back years ago, I had a friend that was uh, uh, taking flight instruction up at Payne Field. And one of the flight instructors was a former uh, plane captain for the 106s at McCord. Yeah. And uh, I enjoyed the stories that he told about. Uh, sitting on the uh, flight line and uh, the alert line and things like that with the aircraft and working on them. Going up with the pilots to test fly and uh, one time he had, uh, he saw a spark in the uh, canopy. Um, there were heated canopies and uh, there it was sparking and he hollered fire. He didn't really know, you know, what was going to happen with that. The pilot said, dude, you ever say that again, I'm punching you out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to the uh, T-33. Um, it's a, whose kit? Uh, this is an Academy I kit. Guess. Yeah, it's uh, 48 scale. Mm -hmm. And um, it went together nicely as well. <clears throat> um, I enjoyed uh, being able to build it. Um, did uh, use the Edward uh, photo etch set in the cockpit, and um, it went in okay. Um, the uh, seams were fairly uh, fairly good uh, to work with, not too bad at all. Um, and then, let's see, did I lose my canopy? Yeah, I think it's getting. And then underneath, I added a couple um, uh, lines in the wheel wells, but nothing super major. Um, and it is a trainer, so it doesn't have um, mounts for weaponry of any kind, anything like that. And as I said, it was a Caracal decal set, so. What color is that? Um, that's the... Um, ADC gray? Yeah, that's what it is. ADC, ADC gray? Yeah. 16473. <laughs> Tony's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> ADC gray. Wow, you don't yeah. see that color very often, do you? No. So. Same, same Canadian voodoo gray. <laughs> yes. And they actually have uh, not a Canadian voodoo, but a voodoo at the yeah. museum on yeah. McCord. Yeah.
Who makes ABC Gray anymore? I, I hope I somebody know. does really? because Trump or excuse me, uh, Model Masters used to. They yes, don't, they don't end. They're gone. Um, I hope somebody does. Humbrol yeah, Humbrol has a color that's close unopened. to ABC. Yeah, it's actually done.